Picture yourself as a professional penetration tester, sneaking into a target network, ready for adventure. Your heart is racing as you access a Linux host, and you know what your next mission is, cracking the passwords. But wait, before you jump into the exciting world of password cracking, let's take a step back and understand what Linux passwords are and how they work. Think of a Linux password as a secret key that unlocks the door to the system. When you log into a Linux host, you will be asked for your username and password. The system then checks your entered password against the encrypted password stored in a file. If the passwords match, you will be granted access to the system. Let's take a quick look at the encrypted password's shadow file. Here, you will see a list of all the users on the system. And for each user, you will find their encrypted password. So let me explain to you what each section of a line in this file means. Taking the Elliot user as an example, the first part is the username. Next is the encrypted password, which consists of several parts. The dollar sign Y dollar sign at the beginning indicates that the password is encrypted using the yes crypt algorithm, which is a modern and secure password hashing algorithm. The random characters following the dollar sign Y dollar sign are the result of the encryption process and represent the encrypted password. The J9T part is a salt, which is a random value used to add entropy to the password hash and make it more difficult to crack. The part after that is the actual hash, which is generated by applying the YesCrypt algorithm to the salt and password. After this, is the final section of the hash and its contents are specific to the yes crypt algorithm now let's view the numbers after the encrypted password the 19040 is the number of days since january 1st 1970 that the password was last changed in this example the password was last changed on February 14th, 2023. The number zero is the number of days before the password may be changed, which means in this case, the password can be changed immediately. The five nines is the number of days after which the password must be changed. In this case, the password will never expire. The number seven is the number of days of warning before the password is set to expire. So in this example, the user will be warned seven days before the password is set to expire. It's important to note that only the root user has access to this file making it much more difficult for attackers to crack the passwords. So how do you crack a Linux password? There are several methods for cracking Linux passwords, including dictionary attacks, brute force attacks, and we need password cracking tools like Hashcat to get the job done. Cool, right? If you are interested in learning more about cracking passwords using Hashcat, I have a dedicated course that teaches just that. So go ahead, check it out, and continue your journey to becoming a master password cracker.
Remember, Linux passwords are an essential part of the security in Linux systems. As a professional penetration tester, it's important to understand how they work and to always use your powers for good. So go forth, embark on your next mission and use your knowledge to make the digital world a safer place.